Butelezi says his mother, Princess Magogo Gadinu Zulu, made an important contribution to the preservation of uh, the Zulu music. Butelezi spoke at the inaugural Princess Magogo lecture, who hosted by the KwaZulu Natal musicians in dialogue in Durban. Remembered as a talented chorister and traditional musician who became world famous. Nkosi Mangosutu Ptelezi became emotional on hearing a recording of his mother's songs. The annual lecture introduced by choral musicians in Guazulu Natal is to honor Princess Makoko Gatinizulu's legacy. Nkosi Ptelezi reflected on his mother's talents, saying she never went a day without singing or making music. Hi, mom. Princess Makoko was a keen player of the ukupu, a string bow and calabash instrument. An opera on her life was commissioned and performed in 2002. Although the princess was fond of church music, her versatile compositions incorporated a variety of music genres. Although she was such a devout uh, Christian, but at the same time she sang these songs which we regard as, as pagan songs, pagan were supposed to be sung only by those who were not Christians, the heathens, as they were called. This made our mother a very unique personality to which music had no bounds. Her appreciation for culture and tradition didn't stop her from breaking barriers. The princess became the first woman to participate in praise singing, a male-dominated duty in the Zulu kingdom. She ventured in what in Zulu society was known as the male field was, was assumed to be the male field, to be exclusive uh, male field. She could do praises of her four bears, starting from King Jama, King Senzangakona, the, the father of King Shaga. Princess Makoko's compositions have been recorded in hymn books and music arrangements all over the world. Sponga Gonkembata, SABC News, Durban.